today we're going to do another Let's Talk Video Games. We're going to be talking about two more single player games. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about Prey, which came out I think a year or two ago. I'm not entirely sure now. And then also The Outer Worlds. Uh, so talking about Prey first, uh, I really like this game. Uh, it was the first one in the series I've ever played. Uh, I don't know how big the series is exactly. Uh, I do know that there was a Prey, maybe possibly a Prey 2 on the Xbox 360. I don't know if they're like continuations of story or whatever, but um, you can pick up this game and just kind of play it on a, like as its own thing. Uh, it's really, really fun. You start off as like um, this dude who you think an experiment's done on you or something like that, and you're on the space station, uh, very similar to like Dead Space or something where you're the only survivor and you're just trying to figure out what happened and like how to get off the ship and all this other craziness. So the aliens you fight in this are like goo-like aliens and it's pretty crazy. They're pretty interesting uh, like enemies to fight and they're come in all sorts of different size and shape, uh, sizes and shapes uh, because they're like gooey. So you, there's actually like ones that like if you get too close to them they'll explode like mines and there's like giant behemoth ones that will just like murder you if you don't if you're not high enough level or whatever. Um, upgrade system in this game is pretty fun. You can upgrade your weapons, you can upgrade your skills. Uh, skills vary uh, depending on what you want to do with it. You can either go like full human where you're just increasing your base stats or you have abilities where they're like basically alien abilities. You can do all kinds of different crazy stuff with that. Um, I don't want to talk about the story too much because uh, I feel like that's part of the single player experience is experiencing the story. Um, so yeah, that's most of what I wanted to talk about in the game. It's really, really fun. Um, it's one of those games that has multiple endings. So if you beat the game and you're like, oh, that wasn't really what I was going for, you can either reload a checkpoint and just kind of choose a different ending, or you can play the entire game differently. Um, if you go through the achievements for the game, there's an achievement for not taking any skill points at all, or not taking any skill points in like the alien abilities you can use. And uh, I can only imagine how crazy that would make the game because uh, some of the alien abilities are pretty clutch for taking out the behemoth ones. I think they're called nightmares, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, there's different kinds of ammo you can get, I think. Uh, there's different kinds of guns and all that kinds of stuff. Uh, really, really fun game. Really uh, pretty fun experience. I kind of bought it on a whim, basically. I'm just like, oh, hey, that's a new game. I haven't heard of that. I'd like to pre-order it. And they're like, oh, it just came out today. So do you want it? I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> so I just walked out with the game. Um, like I said, not having played anything uh, of a similar name or anything like that. Uh, Arcane, as you can see down here, I think those are the same people that worked on the Dishonored series as it says back here, and it's also Bethesda. So I really gotta give my hat off to Bethesda. They've been doing some really good single player games. Uh, the Wolfenstein series, all those games are really, really fun. Um, the Fallout 4, uh, I don't know why it's so disliked by fans, but I really enjoyed it. And then also a um, game we talked about last time, uh, Doom, Doom and Doom Eternal. Uh, they've been killing it as far as these single player games go and I, I couldn't be happier. Um, Fallout 76 is kind of like one of those weird things. Uh, it's not, hasn't done great. I don't think it ever really recovered from its rec uh, initial um, just release and how like awful it was. But um, as far as Bethesda working on this game and like other games like Doom and Wolfenstein, I, they've been really killing it. And uh, I think this game is underappreciated. I don't think a lot of people were talking about it when it was released. Um, and if you got this bare cash and stuff like that, I think you can get like a deluxe edition where it comes with the expansion for like 20 bucks, I think. So uh, definitely worth an investment. It was a really fun game. I really enjoyed playing it. And um, yeah, so moving on to the Outer Worlds. So anybody that's followed the um, Fallout series would know or would notice right away that Obsidian developed this game. Obsidian is the same company that developed uh, Fallout New Vegas, which as far as the fan base is concerned is probably higher ranked if not the best Fallout game. I don't share that opinion. I think it's I think I enjoy Fallout 4 more uh, but that's just because I'm not big into Western themes and that's a big part of what New Vegas is. Um, so getting down to the Outer Worlds, uh, you might think it's a little slow when you first start playing it but once you start getting into the game it's really crazy. Uh, part of what really sucked me into this game was the fact that it's very similar to a sci-fi series that used to be on Fox. It was called Firefly. And it later got a like a basically a fan motivated movie uh, to like kind of wrap up some loose ends that the show never got the chance to close because uh, after 14 episodes the series was canceled by Fox. 
Um, I thought it was so, 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 so similar because you start off basically by yourself and you kind of have to go out and look for companions to include in your crew. So you can get up to five companions and they're all, I, I almost want to say that developers of this game watched Firefly and was like, hey, let's make that into a game, but we can't use anything similar because, you know, it's copyright and all that what whatnot. Um, because you get a preacher as one of your companions, you get a female mechanic who's amazing at what she does, you get a doctor, you like, you get, I mean, it sounds like those are just essential things, but really, if you look at it side by side with um, Firefly the series, it's so similar, it's so crazy. Um, and the way that the systems are set up and like, uh, just, it's so similar. <laughs> if you've never seen the show, I highly encourage you to check it out. Like I said, it's only 14 episodes. It's really, really good. Uh, it stars Nathan Fillion and um, Alan, Alan Tudyk. Those are two of the main guys. And then it's also got, I think like, I think his name is Adam Baldwin. Uh, he's from the Chuck TV show. He plays Casey and uh, a couple other, like the actresses are pretty, they've been in some stuff too. Um, but that show's really good. And it's basically this game is very, it's so similar, it's crazy. Um, so you start off as a dude woken up out of hibernation and the scientist guy is like, hey, I need you to go rendezvous with this guy. You end up crashing on the dude and killing him. And so you take over a ship and then from there, you know, you get your companions, you go out and see what the universe is like because you're in a new star system or something like that. And it's, it's so crazy. Um, like I said, it could be a little slow at the beginning, but after you get going, it's crazy. It's so crazy. There's so many different aliens and creatures and factions, like the ending... The ending rewards you for going out and doing everything you possibly can. Uh, I love doing that in RPGs. Uh, like for example, Skyrim, I go out to, and Oblivion, I go out to every single faction and max out their quests and that before I even like proceed with the main mission. So uh, I'll go out and look for um, the Brotherhood of, I can't remember what they're called anymore, it's been so long. I'll hunt down the like, assassins, I'll hunt down the thieves, I'll I don't think Skyrim had a Warrior's Guild. I think it was just the Companions, I think. But I would go out and max out all that stuff. But it never affected the ending. And that's something I think this game did really, really well. So whatever factions you are like good with at the end of the game, they'll come out and help you in your final mission. Like, they'll storm whatever you're storming. So, for example, when I played through the game, I had three factions jump in and help me assault this place. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. It was really, really cool. I really love how that played into it. And, um... Every decision you make truly does affect the ending. Uh, the ending of the game is basically once you once you're finished with like the play stuff, it'll give you like a five minute cutscene going over literally everything you did and how it affects the future of the universe. It's so crazy, um, and I, I love that amount of detail that they put into that and that kind of like ending. It's so great. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, story wise, gameplay wise, totally great. Um, the only thing gameplay wise that I found uh, annoying. Was when you're reloading, you can't loot something. Very, very minor gripe. Did not kill the game for me at all, but it was just a very minor thing that like could have been tweaked as far as like the mechanics go. But like I said, it didn't take me out of the game. It didn't kill it for me. I still really enjoyed playing it. Um, and the only other gripe I had it about it overall is a lot of the like world you go to when it's sunny out, it's like the screen is oversaturated with warm colors. And it kind of makes it hard to like just see things. Um, during the nighttime, that's completely corrected. It, it looks perfect, and uh, as I've said in my other uh, review videos for games, I do have a 4K TV with an Xbox One uh, X. So I mean, I'm seeing it in the highest graphics, and uh, like, it was hard for me to see because of how saturated it was with like warm colors uh, a lot of times. But other than that, like I said, I really just I loved it. It was fantastic. I thought it was a great single player game which honestly I think we're really lacking nowadays. I think everybody is like geared more towards multiplayer. Uh, you can even see that with Bethesda's attempts at like Fallout 76 and they've been continuously updating Elder Scrolls Online. Um, so it's kind of rare to find a good solid single player game that you can just sit down and enjoy by yourself. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, so hats off to Obsidian for making a great game. And um, I highly encourage you to check it out. Whether you get it for 60 bucks or 20 bucks, I, I think it's worth it regardless. Um, because there's so much replayability. Like if you want to go through and just be a good guy and do everything by the book, you can. And then the next playthrough, you just want to be a jerk. Or like, there's so many possibilities and so many things you can do. Um, so again, just hats off. Really great game. I uh, really, really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, so that's going to do it. Uh, I might try to release this video today. Today's Monday. I didn't do any recording this weekend. 
Um, I might try to release it today. If not, I'll either post it Tuesday or Wednesday and then keep up, keep up with my usual Wednesday, Friday, Monday, you know, so on and so forth. Um, cause I got a stack of comic books here we're going to go through. And then I'm thinking about doing, um, like a Star Wars trilogy review, uh, maybe original to prequel to sequel. Um, cause I've, I've had more time to, I've watched Rise of Skywalker again. Um, I have all those on DVD and I can sit down and watch them and like, just kind of like really soak it in what my actual problems are and not what society, like what the overarching like population problems with the movies are, if that makes sense. Uh, and just kind of do a breakdown on how I would have changed the sequel trilogy to be a little bit better in my opinion, or just like flow better. Um, so I'll probably get, uh, now that I say it out loud, I'm probably going to get to that pretty soon. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. And if I affected your decision to buy or play these games, please let me know. And uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.